The new nested input updates here, so I'm gonna talk you through it really quickly. So what I've done is I've created a component. It's this little text button that you can hover and click. And every time you click, you'll see that I'm firing off this selected event. And we also have a text string so that we can change the text. Now using nested artboards, I'm gonna add that text item and then duplicate it a few times to make a really quick menu. If we play the state machine, you'll see that all the text values are the same. And when we click on each button, they all stay highlighted. So we're gonna change that. Now to do that, we need to make our nested artboards talk to each other, which is why we can go back to our button and expose the different inputs that we want to the parent artboard. Back on the main artboard, we can now see all of the exposed inputs in the inputs panel. We can even go in and change default values like the text string. So when we play our state machine, after updating the text value, you can see all of our buttons have updated. Now we're gonna use listeners to make the buttons communicate with one another. To do that, I wanna select my first nested artboard and then create a listener. This automatically sets the nested artboard as the target of the listener, which is important because now we can see all of the events that can be fired from that nested artboard. Now, when that event goes off, we wanna do a bunch of input changes. We wanna make sure that the is selected Boolean is set to true for the first nested artboard and false for the other two. Once we have the logic set up for the first button, we can duplicate that listener and change the target of the nested artboard so that the correct event will fire and then update the is selected booleans to the right configuration. Once all that's done, we can test out the state machine and you'll see that all the buttons are now communicating with one another. Now there's a ton of different use cases for nested inputs and I'm sure you're gonna find them and I can't wait to see how you use them. We'll have a workshop soon and we'll also have some Rive 101 videos to help get you up to speed.